so apex season 10 is just a couple of moments away guys and as i basically do every single season we're going to be taking a look at all of the biggest changes in this brand new season of apex and trust me there's a lot of changes in this season respawn really went all out this time now before i actually get into all of the changes coming in season 10 if you guys haven't noticed recently apex has kind of been having a resurgence especially on twitch a lot of really big streamers have been playing apex like you know nick mooks and tim the top man and stuff so it's a very good time Time right now to be an apex fan because the more attention apex gets hopefully the more changes and the more updates respawn could give us in the near future so apex is in a very good state right now and hopefully season 10 drops in a very good state as well i'm obviously making this video before season 10 drops the night before so hopefully the servers will be good and stable tomorrow and not like when season 9 dropped because when season 9 dropped that was a whole different experience so let's just pray and hope that season 10 has a very smooth and successful launch all right with that said if you guys are ready be sure to drop a like on the video right now can we get 500 likes on my very first season 10 video a like goes a very very long way on youtube as i always say and also don't be shy hit that sub button we're currently on the road to 75k subs on youtube as well all right guys so let's get started first of all one of the biggest changes or should i say additions in season 10 is ranked arenas this right here is one of the biggest things that respawn is really pushing in season 10 because everyone was basically you know begging respawn to drop ranked arenas even back in season 9 so respawn finally has a working version of ranked arenas and it should be here when season 10 drops it's a very different system though from the regular ranked in the battle royale mode of apex it doesn't work the same basically when you first jump into ranked arenas right you have to play 10 placement matches and once you play those initial first few matches you'll basically get a rating or a match marking rank so based on this very very early information here respawn would then know what matches to put you in and what skill bracket you belong in as well and also guys your rank is really only determined in ranked arenas by how much wins you get not so much by kills not so much by anything else but basically how much wins you get it's all about winning in ranked arenas which actually should make it even more competitive and even more like sweaty and hectic in game so it should be fun leave a like right now if you're hyped for ranked arenas finally coming to apex next up we have the brand new legend in season 10 and this is none other than Sare. Sare is a recon legend as we all should know by now and everyone is kind of you know comparing him to bloodhound and crypto because of his abilities but i believe that bloodhound will still be very good and i also believe that crypto will still have a place in this game even though sarah has very similar like abilities for you guys who still haven't seen or heard about sarah's abilities let's go over them really really quick right so sarah's passive is called heart seeker and basically what this does is it gives you a heartbeat sensor basically when you're adsing but you also don't even need to have a weapon to ads with sarah he also has the ability to ads without actually holding a weapon so you basically always have this you know this passive because you can always see heartbeats if you ADS. Sarah's tactical ability is called focus of attention and basically what you do is you emit a lot of like micro drones that basically one reveal enemies and also interrupts enemies from any actions that they were previously doing so basically if an enemy is you know taking a shield battery taking some shield cells using an alt xl no matter what the enemy is doing guys once you use this tactical ability right here they will be interrupted for a very short time they'll also be revealed to you as well as their health bars then we have Sears ultimate ability which is called exhibit and you create a sphere of micro drones that reveal the footsteps of enemies moving quickly or firing their weapons within basically what this means in simpler terms is that Sarah has like this area of effect where if you're in this area of effect he can't see you he can't see your footsteps unless you crouch or unless you're actually in the air of course Sarah is also a recon legend so he can also scan beacons as well for the next ring so you'll see how Sarah actually plays out in game and how he kind of you know mixes into the meta of apex but he does sound very interesting right now and very fun to play so you'll see the brand new weapon in season 10 is the rampage lmg yes respawn is dropping an lmg as the brand new weapon in season 10 this weapon has a very very slow fire rate but it also has a very interesting mechanic because you could basically insert a thermite grenade into the weapon and the fire rate increases and it does more damage as well so i mean i'm not gonna say it's op as yet i'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself until i actually have used it in game but it does sound very interesting we'll see how it plays out we'll see how it plays out the brand new weapon in season 10 the rampage lmg all right guys so moving on to some legend changes because we do have a good amount of legend buffs in season 10 first up a horizon buff yes respawn is buffing the once infamous the once insanely strong 
Horizon in Season 10, who was actually once my main as well back in Season 7 and Season 8. So basically what the respawn is doing with Horizon is buffing her gravity lift speed like when you're going up in the gravity lift. It's not going to be as fast as like Season 7 and Season 8, but it's also not going to be as slow as it currently is. So it's going to be a happy medium between Season 7 and Season 9. They're also kind of nerfing Horizon's ult as well because they're reducing the slow after the initial black hole pull so you won't be like as slowed when horizons black hole first pulls you in we also have a caustic buff in season 10 caustic mains rejoice finally respawn is giving some attention to caustic who was once actually very good but he hasn't been very good the past couple of seasons so caustic's gas damage starts at five but increases by one damage every other tick so it just slowly but like gradually increases in damage they've also reduced Caustic's tactical cooldown from 25 seconds to 20 seconds. They've also reduced his ultimate cooldown from 3.5 minutes to 3 minutes, but they did also kind of nerf his ultimate as well because now it's only going to be 15 seconds instead of 20 seconds. But these caustic changes right here should make him a lot more viable in season 10, and hopefully, we get to see some more caustic mains back to using caustic because of these changes. So we'll see. Revenant is getting nerfed in season 10, and to be real, guys, to be very honest, I'm very excited about this because. I mean, Rev can be very annoying, let's be real. So basically the only thing Respawn is tackling in Season 10 is Revenant's ultimate. You'll actually now have a visual and audio cue when Rev's death totem protection is about to end and other players in the game can actually hear this. So let's just say a Rev team is pushing you, right? And you're not too sure, you know, how much longer they have in their death totem protection. Now you'll actually know when you can push and when you can change up your playstyle because you could actually hear now when it's going to be ending very soon. So this to me is a very good change and it should make him a little bit less kind of you know annoying to deal with. They're also adding a very brief slowing effect after being recalled to Revenant's death totem. So if someone sends you back to the death totem, you'll have a very brief period of just being slowed which again I think is a very good change. Next up we have Fuse who definitely needs to get buffed because he's been kinda bad ever since he was dropped in season 8. So respawn is both buffing Fuse's tactical ability and his ultimate ability as well. Enemies caught inside Fuse's ultimate will now be revealed to Fuse and his teammates. Fuse's knuckle cluster duration is now increased by 100% or it's basically doubled and like the duration has been doubled which is kind of insane. And you could also now toggle Fuse's grenadier passive to be on or off if you want to throw grenades normally. I think that these changes should make Fuse a little bit more viable in Season 10. As I said, he's always been kind of, you know, useless in this game. And I think that these changes are very good because he needs to be a little bit more effective, I would say, in Apex. So we'll see how this actually plays out. Alright guys, so moving on to the weapon changes in Season 10. Let's actually start things off with the L-Star because this weapon got a lot of, you know, changes in this new season. The L-Star now actually takes energy mags. And this basically lets you fire more bullets without the L-Star overheating. So you still can't technically run out of ammo, but you can fire more bullets now before you have to, like, you know, cool down the L-Star, which is actually very good. The L-Star now also takes barrel stabilizers which is really interesting and they also increase the hipfire spread on the L-Star which is actually a nerf because as we all know the L-Star always had insane hipfire but now it won't be as tight. Next up guys we have the 30-30 repeater which actually didn't see that many changes. Basically all the respawn is doing is allowing it to be reloaded faster when you're using stocks. So you basically get a faster reload time when you equip stocks to this weapon. Respawn is finally nerfing the EVA 8. I mean, this was my favorite shotgun by far, guys, but let's be real, it was kind of OP, right? So it did need to get nerfed eventually. So Respawn is significantly reducing the bolt fire rate scaling for each rarity. So basically now, the purple bolt won't be as, you know, as insane compared to like the blue shotgun bolt, right? It's not going to be as quick, you know, it's not going to be as insane. But the base fire rate of the EVA 8 will still remain unchanged. So I actually still think that this gun is going to be very very good even with this change. You just won't be able to spam shots like you used to be able to do you know back before respawn made this nerf. So it's still going to be good just not as insane. The prowler is coming out of the care package and as a result respawn is nerfing it. You can't actually use select fire on the prowler anymore so it's only going to be a burst weapon now which is kind of interesting and they've also increased the time between burst from 0.2 to 0.24. It does make sense that respawn would nerf this gun because it's not going to be a care package weapon anymore but we'll see if the prowler is still going to be a very strong SMG to pick up compared to the Volt on the R99. We'll see. The Spitfire guys is going into the care package 
but it's also getting buffed basically all respawn is doing to buff this gun guys is making it exactly how it was back in season 8 so they're basically increasing the spitfire damage by one they're increasing the max size from 50 to 55 and they're also reducing the hip fire spread on the spitfire as well so of course this gun will still be insane but it's only going to be insane now if you actually get it in a care package which is in my opinion a very very good change because we all know how insane and just how annoying this gun was to play against it was just too good to use it was just too easy to use as well and yeah thank god respawn has put this gun in the care package now respawn actually did some general lmg nerfs as well in season 10 and this is for every single lmg in the game so the rampage lmg the spitfire and the devotion so they reduced the headshot multiplier for all lmgs from 2.0 to 1.75 which actually is a very very big decrease but they did increase the limb shot multiplier from 0.75 to 0.85 this is still pretty much a nerf though because the headshot multiplier is a lot more detrimental it's a lot more it basically you know takes away a lot more damage when respawn is nerfing it so auto respawn did increase the limb shot multiplier this is still pretty much a nerf a very small nerf i would say to every single lmg in the game respawn is also buffing every single pistol in the game and yes this includes the wingman as well you now have faster handling time across every single pistol in this game so you can basically just you know use pistols a lot faster now when you're adsing when you're running with the gun in hand when you're holstering the gun this speed is just going to be increased by 10 percent across the board the anvil receiver and the quick draw hop ups are being vaulted guys and respawn is introducing a brand new boosted loader hop up which actually is why respawn is increasing the handling time across all pistols because the quick draw will now no longer be ground floor loot basically what the boosted loader hop up does is it allows you to reload faster guys when you're near zero bullets in the mag and you also would reload the mag with more bullets in it as well so this to me is actually a very very good and useful hop up i forgot to mention this guys the alternator is going into the care package in season 10 with disruptor rounds so the brand new care package alternator actually should be a very very insane and fun gun to use i can't wait to actually see how it plays out but yeah disruptor rounds are back with the alternator in the season 10 care package we obviously have a brand new map update to world's edge in season 10 we have new pois we have changed pois and the lighting on world's edge looks very similar to that of like the season 3 lighting on world's edge especially around areas like capital city and like fragment east and west and stuff so i can't wait to see how the brand new world's edge actually plays out and hopefully respawn hasn't ruined this like you know this this og map because to me this is the best map in apex right now we have brand new gold weapons or should i say fully kitted weapons in season 10 now we have the peacekeeper the re45 the flatline the rampage lmg and the charge rifle i'm very interested to see what people think about this brand new fully kitted rotation in season 10 what do you guys think and last but not least guys we have a lot of brand new arena pricing changes which i will leave a full link in the description down below too but basically the entire pricing system in arenas has been kind of reworked and i think if you want to grind ranked arenas you need to know how the brand new pricing works and you know the cost of weapons and stuff in arenas so again i'll leave a link down below so you guys can look through all of the pricing changes now with that said guys that's all of the major changes in apex legends season 10 what do you guys think we have new weapon changes new legend changes we have ranked arenas a new map update we have new hop ups and stuff new care package weapons it's a brand new season guys it's a brand new season lots of things to see lots of new things to try out i mean let's just hope the servers work when season 10 drops fingers crossed so that's it for me today guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in some more apex till next time